All right, taking the workout to the local playground. I think it's just a matter of time before this becomes the next big thing because now everything's body weight training you can do at home. But we're probably going to discover that you know, places like these playgrounds, these are essentially free outdoor calisthenics gyms, which are ideal in times like this. So today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite things to do at the local playground. We're working our abs two different ways. All we need is something we can hang from like a pull-up bar and something to suspend from like RT17. There's a link down below if you're interested in checking out more of my review. Again, this sucker's like under 30 bucks, well worth every penny. But what we're going to do today is we're going to superset two exercises. The first one creates isometric stability in the core while we have dynamic movement in our arms and shoulders. And then we're going to reverse it with dynamic movement in the core and isometric stability in your shoulders and back. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this first exercise is one of my all-time favorites. This is the, the stretch out. It's kind of like using an ab wheel, but you have a lot more freedom and flexibility in how you're adjusting it. So what we do is we get our weight onto our handles. We start off with a vertical style rope. Okay? If you angle forwards, it's going to make the exercise easier. If you go backwards, it makes it harder. So that's one way that it's an advantage over the wheel is you can progress it. Uh, as far as the resistance goes. Load up, make sure your glutes and your back are tight, and we're just gonna stretch out with the arms. In a smooth, controlled fashion. We wanna keep the repetitions low on this. We're not gonna do this 20 or 30 times. I usually just aim for a repetition of about six, because you wanna focus on intensity for this. There we go, making sure, and you don't want the hips to be moving. This is isometric for the core, but dynamic in the shoulders. The moment you do this, well, now my weight is more on my feet. If there's no weight on your hands, there's no resistance going through your abdominals. So making sure you got plenty of resistance on the arms. Smooth and six repetitions will do you. So after our six stretch outs, and we just take the rope right over to the side, give ourselves some space here. So now we're trying to stabilize and control the tension in our upper back so we can get some leg raises in. That will give us a lot of control and stability. And of course you can bend your knees, reduce the resistance, straight legs, more resistance, your abs, uh, should already be pretty smoked. So again, keeping the repetitions low, emphasizing control, and making sure we keep momentum at bay. Probably about six to eight reps there as well. Very good. And then we're gonna go right into another set of the stretch outs, about 20 to 30 seconds of rest. So the total workout is about three or four rounds of, again, six stretch outs, really hard and intense. You wanna make that feel like it's frying your abs pretty good in just that. Then with the leg raises, you have about six, maybe 10 repetitions or so, and as a bit of a finisher. Then about 20 to 30 seconds of rest, and then go into your second round. Once again, if you're interested in checking out the RT17, highly recommend it, link is down below. And if you have any thoughts or questions, leave them down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be fit, live free.